It was winter time on the island of Sodor, and high up in the hills, the little narrow gauge Scaloni Railway was busy as ever. Oh, I love winter, but this extra work and wearing the snowpot does get to my old axles after a while. Hope the work isn't getting to you, Scaloni, and you're looking as slow as ever, Grandpa, lately. I may be old, but I'm not slow, Falcon. Get on with those lights already. As the guard whistle blew and Scarloe started off, Renee's trundled into the yard. Chloe, how's the work treating you? Not half bad, if I'll be honest. The pleasant atmosphere makes the work easier. Ah, yes, same here. I'm excited for the festivities tonight, seeing as it's Christmas Eve. Thankfully, the train behind me is the last one of the evening. I wish this was my last train for Christmas. Uh, sadly not. I still have a supply train to Glenock. Well, I wish you the best of luck with your journey. Hope to see you back by dusk. Unfortunately for Scarloe, however, he was not to be back by dusk. As he rose into the mountains, the snow got thicker and heavier, and his lamp barely shone. He was entering a blizzard. We will have to stop, Scarlowy. If we keep going, we're bound to start an avalanche. We have just enough cold to keep up a fire, so don't freeze until help comes. But how will we get help? We can't stay here all night. Oh. I'm sorry, but we may have to. It's the safest plan. They'll probably send a train from Glenock when we don't arrive after a few hours. But we won't be found till after Christmas, and if we get buried to a point beyond moving... Oh, I don't want to think of that. And as he said that, a mighty bang and a crash was heard behind them. Well, we're going absolutely nowhere now. An avalanche just blocked the track behind us. I'll block your wheel so we can't move. Meanwhile, back in the yard, dusk was setting on, and Renee was starting to get worried about Scarloe. I hope Scarloe is okay, driver. He should be Renee's. Yes, I know. But still, I feel like something bad happened. And Glenock, the station master, was sitting by a crack on the fireplace. He was beginning to be concerned by number one's train not arriving. I'm worried that Scarloe is stuck in the snow. We need to go find them. But we don't have any engines here, and the tracks block up towards Reneus where Duke is. Then bundle up, we're taking the pump trolley. But, uh, I must ask, uh, do you think that's a good idea? Grab two shovels and stuff to make a fire if we have to melt snow. And with that final statement, they left. I hope they've sent help to us from Glenock. Oh, I'm getting so cold. Haha, oh. <laughs> old boy. I think they have. Because I see something up the line. And sure as day, there was the station master and a townsperson coming towards them on a pump cart. Are you frozen yet? Is Scarloe free to move? His wheels are blocked, but his steam pressure is up. We're not frozen, might need to leave some wagons behind though. Well, unblock those wheels and let's go. The line's clear, but won't be for long with all this snow. With a mighty chuff and a clank, Scarloe started forward. As they traveled along, Scarloe's plow pushed the light snow away, and they pulled into Glenock without incident. You can bunk Scarloe down in the shed behind the station. Oh, and come inside for some food and warmth. When Scarloe back into the shed, a mighty crash, much like the one earlier, was heard. Well, that was another uh, avalanche. Said Scarloe, and his crew dried him down and put out his fire. Lucky for us, we don't have to go anywhere soon. Oh, uh, I suppose. Anyway, it is sure warm in here, and the Christmas tree in the corner is nice. And with that, Scarloe drifted happily off to sleep. Back in the station, the screw was warming up when his fireman spoke. I have an idea to make Scarloe's Christmas better. 
What is it? You'll see in due time. Wake up, Renee, we've got some kilometers of track to clear. Wait, what? We're clearing the line to Glanak so Skolo can have company for Christmas. Well then, what are we waiting for? And as his fireman swung up into the cab, Renee is trapped away. Skolo was just waking up when he heard a knock on his door. Uh, come in, come in. It was Scarloe's driver, and he brought good news. Someone is here to see you, Scarloe. And with the whistle, Renee's chuffed in the view. Renee's, how wonderful. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well, Scarloe. It was some journey up here. But oh, so much snow. Ah, uh, haha, yes. Very true. Anyways, Merry Christmas, Renee's. And with that, we come to the happy little end of our story. Merry Christmas, and see you next year!